shit some minutes, huh? Regardless and of who you're fighting. I think Face looking for himself again. Uh, able to top eight showing here. Yeah, let's see how he does. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure he does. He knows the matchup or not, but I know the Hunter has experience with uh, Aegis, so this would be interesting to see. <laughs> It'd be tough to find someone who doesn't have experience against Aegis at that, this point. That, that's good. That's a, that's, a, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Very common character, but you know, unfortunately, Banjo is not. So, but I think a big part of this matchup is smothering Banjo. Mm -hmm. You have the frame data. You have the hitboxes. You have to abuse it. Yeah. Because don't. if you let Banjo get away from you, then he starts doing his wall, and it's hard to get in sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Once he gets into the mid range, he is so scary to try to get back in against. Yeah, but good. And I, I know one thing that uh. Uh, Hunter has to respect his foresight a lot, especially when he's Briggle Blast the eggs, because mm. she just roll through all that and they get a free punish. Yeah. So, <laughs> I definitely feel this matchup is probably um, more favorite to using uh, Mithra, because I feel like that zone aspect of Banjo against Pyro would be a bit more annoying. For sure, yeah. She's able to just get in around those projectiles, try to get behind, allow to use her to cross up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely agree with that one. Uh, under an advantage right now, though. Yeah. Uh, it's tough for him to hold it for too long. It's that, yeah. The character's speed is mm -hmm. so much. It's like, you know, even as Pyra, even if she knows she's not fast, her boxes are massive. So you have to respect yeah. that giant zone around her. <laughs> are you running from a store or are you running from a person? It's yeah, that's, too. that's literally how it goes in the matchup. Ooh, held in. There's a grab back throw. Yeah, this so I know that is really good against Mithra, especially. Or oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, in Pyro, because the hitbox goes just below ledge and they, they push them right off and they can't make it back. The angle is really bad for them. Yeah, that's the thing. If you can find one move that can consistently hit yeah. both of their recoveries, yep. that's huge advantage. And that's Banjo's down tilt in this matchup, so uh, no cast look out for that. Oh, and he's doing an amazing time. job at just keeping the Hunter in the corner. Absolutely. And finding, uh, not letting Hunter find any of these yeah. Wonder Wings. Like, he's at 115, but like, a lot of that feel like it's been like just chip damage across two whole stocks. Exactly. I haven't really seen, like, the Hunter really, like, you know, push it, like, his, you've seen him play before. Mm -hmm. he, he'll just, like, like, oh, there we go. That's yeah. Like, he'll, like, oh, he'll kills. just hit you once and you're at, like, 80 or something like that, or, like, some high percent. Mm -hmm. And I thought we haven't seen that too much this set. Uh, yeah. It's just been a lot of straight hits and no, just mostly controlling neutral and, you know, the match in general. Yeah, Noka's doing such a good job of making himself difficult to punish. Ooh, yeah. A good up, you had a shield there. One big thing. Uh, it, one big thing that um, Banjo struggles with, especially in this matchup, is his out-of-shield game isn't very good. Mm -hmm. And against Aegis, I feel like you have to have an out-of-shield game, because otherwise they can just kind of land on you. Yeah, and exactly. And out-of-shield, I believe his off-smash is frame 9, which mm -hmm. all of their moves are safer than frame 9, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Easily. So, yeah. <laughs> or safer than minus 9. So, like, everything Mithra does is minus 7 on the shield, or, mm -hmm. like, better. So it's just like... Yeah, usually that's what you're looking for, but Banjo just can't afford to do that. Yeah, he has to go for these parries, but the thing is, against Mithra, she's so fast, you know, it's kind of hard to just, you know, oh, I'm going to yeah. parry that, or Nair has something hit, so... It's either parries or you just keep that wall up, which, again, Noka's doing a fantastic job of not letting Hunter get into that mid to long range. Yeah, and, like, a, a huge thing is just, like, Mithra's oh, speed allowing him... Ooh, really good swap and, like, catch. Down air? Nah, he needs to mark. Uh, like, a huge thing, though, in this matchup is, um... Mithra is so fast, so, oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a great catch. Ooh, it, oh, catches the jump. God. Finally, the Hunter's able to land one of those Wonder Wings. So, actually what happened there, he did jump, but the grenade blew up uh, in I his see. hand. And he needed a timer, <laughs> and he called it out. Amazing call out from the Hunter. Yeah, that was, that's fantastic <laughs> awareness. Yeah. <laughs> but I think... Maybe we might see the Sora game two, depending on how this ends. That's game. That's yeah, it. that's gotta be. We might see the Sora come out game two. We could. I, I think it looked like Hunter was making a little bit of a comeback towards the end. Definitely a little more comfortable, but I would he not be surprised. Definitely seemed a bit more comfortable. I feel like all that time though was just. I never felt like he was too far behind ever. Mm -hmm. It's just that he couldn't get anything started though, like exactly, anything yeah. big and meaningful started. It's like he always got pushed back constantly. Like once he like got something going. Once he dropped it, or if like it was over, Mithra just took control again. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and that's again, Noke just Noke being, so quick, very well. Noke abusing uh, Mithra's strengths really well. Also, even Pyra, like Pyra's 
do an amazing job at weaving, weaving in and out of Banjo's range a lot. Absolutely, so, yeah, getting yeah. out those slow, big hitboxes. Yeah, so it was like, we saw the upbeats and stuff, like, passed him. Like, he was, mm -hmm. he, he had good awareness of what to do. So. I don't think he whiffed a single up B or got shield or anything. I think he might have missed one, but Maybe, like, oh yeah, yeah he, like, cause he, uh, the hunter DI yeah, straight in. And, but mm -hmm. like, he lived anyway, so it was fine. Yeah. Uh, Here we are, game two. Yeah, game two. Back to PS2? Not surprising. I felt like the stage didn't really hurt anyone. It was just more so, like, Noke just smothering, so. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, this we'll... is a much better start here from the Hunter. He's yeah. able to keep Noke in the corner. Mm -hmm. I think he's realizing he has to play it a bit slower if he wants to do well. Absolutely, yeah. Inching his way towards the edge. Because mm -hmm. the Hunter, uh... Wow! Oh, Caught the setup frames man. twice in a row. Really an... Ooh, put stool? Ah, oh, I think he's for side beat. <laughs> he was looking. <laughs> um, ooh, that's stock? That's a stock. Yeah, it looks like good DI, but not enough. 50%? That's insane. That was wild. That was a really good call out from a no good Wonder Wing. Just get what you can off stage. Oh, the sword scoop hit him. That's up tilt, yep. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, this Great is call out, good confirm. Much closer, but I can definitely tell the Hunter, one big thing he's changed is he's playing a lot slower, and he's letting uh, no whiff right in front of him. Like, he's. Mm -hmm. Not over committing. He's letting him draw his stuff and then going when he sees an opening. Yeah, he's he's punishing the second or the third option, not really trying to catch those first options yeah. right off the bat. Banjo can't contest those hitboxes or that frame data. Oh man! Excellent fair. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, interesting side B. See, I, I get why uh, it's supposed to do that side B um, because it just covers jump and trigger up. But mm -hmm. they roll. Oh, amazing up smash. Yeah, good read there. Oh, he's totally wow. ready for that runoff. Yeah, this is. I'm honestly really impressed by how well Noke is just. Even oh, yeah. though, like, it was. like It's like. Even if they're going even, he always just knows when it puts a hitbox. Mm -hmm. And it's been really impressive to see, honestly. And yeah, the thing is, he's got the leeway to be wrong once or twice, too. Yeah, especially. Like, I feel like Banjo can't mess up in his matchup. Wow. Mm -hmm. That was close. Ooh, up to, nice match. Ooh. Ooh, nice call out. Yeah. He's not too far down. Yeah, uh, this is much closer than the last game at this two point. Two interactions and a good Wonder Wing, and that's game. Or a good down tilt at ledge, and that could be the end of Kyra Mithra's stock. So. Yeah, <laughs> kill percent at zero with that. Oh! Calling up the, like, he's really on top of these. Oh, good, plus That was good DI. Yeah. Ooh, going for the F tilt. Side B. Force the corner pressure. So yeah, back. I think we're going to see Hunter go for it. I think go for a Gimp here. Yeah, probably going to try to take this quick. Yeah, he keeps putting. Ooh, interesting side view again. Hanging out around that platform. Finally, Hunter takes center stage. Yeah. And this is where it matters the most. Ooh, foresight. That frame zero dodge coming in clutch there. Oh! Just missed spacing. No good advantage now. And that, it, you know, it's been interesting to see the evolution of. Ooh, that game. Yeah, that's it. Amazing roll read. That was very well.